And welcome to the second game for today. This time around, we're going to be doing another user submitted game. And the person who submitted it is going to be going by the name of Mad Marine and his T44 tank. They are also going to be playing on the map Cliff. All right, I'm accompanied by Sergey yet again, and we are ready for the show. Are you ready, Sergey? Yes, I am ready. Go, go, go. How can you not be ready? Okay, let's no start. time to lose. Go. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> okay. Shh. <laughs> three seconds in three seconds in three, two, one, and let's begin. Time to roll out. Time to roll out. All right. Now, this is one thing I kind of interestingly maybe noticed. I'm not sure if it's that interesting, but if you look on top of the tank from a bird's eye view, is that the same vehicle as the one in the bottom left hand corner? As in, you know, you guys can see the schematics of the bottom left-hand tank, and even though it shows up on every tank, but it looks sort of similar. Hmm, I don't think it's the exact same one, but maybe it is, I don't know. Anyway, Sergey, so we're on to watching this uh, T-44 at play. Have you ever taken on the T-44 before? I'm pretty sure I did, but I can't really I know, I, I, it's one of these tanks we can't really remember, because, I mean, right away when I look at this, I can immediately imagine the IS and the IS-3 and all those horrible tanks that we're sometimes up against where, you know, we have such a difficult time taking on them. Yeah, yeah well, the IS isn't bad anymore. Just the IS-2, 3, 4, 5... Okay, there's no 5. Hey, but, uh, you forgot the IS-7. <laughs> yeah, I know, but there's no 5, 6. I think they're actually going to add an IS-5. I think that's one of the ones that they're planning on adding in the future. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be sort of like in between the IS-3 and the IS-7. So, you know, if... If you can't uh, suffer enough from the IS-3, then you can suffer a lot more from the IS-5. <laughs> yes. Oh, his already gone. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and he repaired. So that's, no that's a useful thing to be doing, to uh, use your consumables. Do you use any re uh, consumables? Yeah, I do, but most of the time I use it to repair my, my kill tracks so you know I can run away. <laughs> We had an interesting conversation just like two, uh, or not that long ago, actually, like maybe 20 minutes ago, um, where we were talking about consumables, and you're like, health pack? Why would you use a health pack? Why didn't you like using a health pack? I don't know. It's too expensive and not an, uh, not um, worth enough, in my opinion. Isn't it just like the same as a repair kit? I thought they were both like 3,000 each. Yeah, I know, but a repair kit is more useful sometimes. What? At least I think so. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, it's if, exactly if the same thing! No, if you're a tank destroyer, and your tracks are gone, you can't move anymore, you can't shoot the enemy anymore. Yeah, so but say if somebody... Yeah, but say if somebody shoots your turret, or your track, or your gunner, or not your gunner, sorry. Yeah, your gunner or your um, driver, then you'll <laughs> move so slowly or you can't barely shoot. Yeah, but you can't move. Okay, well, I suppose so, in that respect. So, it's an all or nothing thing for you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's dead or not if I'm in my um, Ferdinand, it's still slow. Okay, my well, track. we could agree on that. The other option would be to go for chocolate, right? Yeah. I chocolate! Mean, yeah! Chocolate! <laughs> yeah! And we were making oh a bunch my god, of- they're shooting us! Give me chocolate! Ah! Yeah, yeah, that's what we were saying. Oh my god, they're, they're firing on us from all sides! Get the chocolate out! <laughs> so, yeah, I think- I, th I find it kind of funny that a World of Tanks would actually consider it chocolate. Why out of all things did they consider chocolate as a thing to actually make them your crew better? Why not whiskey or vodka or something, you know? I mean, uh, realistically speaking, for example, like say if you were about to go into battle, would you grab chocolate or would you grab your last drink of vodka or whiskey? I mean... Well, I on. think I would take chocolate. Why? But <laughs> the... No, chocolate is yummy. <laughs> so you'd rather uh, relish your last savory food before you die? Yeah, I mean, think about it. If you're in a tank battle, you need a clear mind. So, vodka wouldn't be helpful, but chocolate is good for your nerves. So, okay, well, I don't know. The way I consider it is, for example, if I got shot... Say, say if you were bound to die in a battle, alright? and I got shot, I'd rather feel less pain by drinking whiskey 
But I don't know, maybe maybe you prefer having, uh, I don't know, some chocolate bits in your- Chocolate bits in your mustache, so when you're dying- me in the stomach! Oh my god, have some chocolate Get that sick of chocolate! When, you're, when your leg is blowing off, you'll just have some chocolate still in your mustache, and you'll just be like, Oh, it hurts so much! Oh, chocolate! Chocolate in my veins! Just, yeah, just put the chocolate right into your bloodstream. Yeah, anyway, so, basically in this uh, replay, oh my god, we went so off topic there. Um, basically in this replay, what happens is, um, there's very aggressive play. This person was letting me know that, uh, they, they like playing aggressively, and I mentioned this in quite a lot of my casts that I like playing aggressively. Uh, Sergey, so I've got to ask you, uh, Sergey, are you an aggressive player, or are you a camping bitch? <laughs> if I play with you, I have to play aggressive, because they're always <laughs> charging. Even it is the most stupid thing ever in this case sometimes, but... I think sometimes I fail to actually recognize the difference between uh, my tank destroyer and a normal tank. Sometimes, sometimes even artillery, I have a uh, difficulty telling the difference between artillery and a normal tank. Because I'll sometimes charge like right into the enemy, but it's just my playstyle, you know, like sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not. Um, but yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Ferdinand, Ferdinand, they have a Ferdinand on the team. I wish I got to see how it died, because we've been having a lot of trouble with our Ferdinands recently. Oh, well, that's a shame. But see, this is what I like about aggressive play. Just the fact that his base was about to be captured, and look what he's doing. He's being smart and going back and forth and taking on those tanks. And they are so screwed. Look at that. Wow, my hero of the day. Uh, maybe we should have gone for the T-44. <laughs> or is it T-40? No, it's T-44. Yeah. Oh my god, he's got seven kills. That's nearly as good as I my best kill streak. Oh my god. Oh no, oh. just Oh he, he got his kill stolen. How unfortunate. Well, how much is yours? Eight. Yeah, my best is eight. And then my Drax got killed the third time and I couldn't repair anymore with my tank destroyer so I couldn't shoot back anymore, it was horrible. I remember this I one game. I stood there for like three minutes, and they were shooting at me from every side and <laughs> then I lost. I remember this one game that you were uh, telling me over TeamSpeak, I was just listening to you playing World of Tanks over TeamSpeak and you were just like, oh my god, because you are having so many bad games and then you were having this really amazing game in your Panther. I think, you are having an amazing game, you're like, oh my god, I'm doing so well, and then they kept on mobilizing you. And then the count come the third time they immobilized you. You're like, oh, this is this is taking a long time to repair. What the what the hell is going on? And yeah, then it was exactly just like one one minute on. later, you're still immobilized, and you're like, oh, this is shit. This is shit. <laughs> it's kind of funny listening to you uh, rage. Oh my well, god. I could have won that game. <laughs> Sergey, look how much XP he got. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah, the most I ever got was 100,000, and that was non-five times. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. that's that pretty good. Thousand. Well done, Mad Marine. Uh, high five to you if I could give you a high five somehow, but you know what? Just imagine me giving you a high five, right? Anyway, Sergey, I think we'll call that a show. <laughs> I just saw this one guy's name at the top of their other team, Angry Nigerian. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this cast, and until next time, have a very nice day. Bye-bye!